of Warrior Nation, I'm Ray Jackson, and welcome to yet another episode of my new mini-series, What's in the Closet? On today's episode, I'm going to show you some of my words of the uh, 2002 U.S. Men's National Soccer Team for the World Cup on that particular year, where we made it all the way to the quarterfinals of the knockout stage before being screwed over by incompetent officiating in that quarterfinal match against Germany. So let's get to it, shall we? Over here, I've got this um, Uncle Sam hat here, of course. I bought this um, a few years back from the now defunct Sideshow Variety. Uh, Holly Green and Mike Townsend uh, ran that place and did a hell of a good job at that. I got a couple of things for there too, of course. And uh, I wear this for every match that uh, the, both the U.S. Men's National Team and the U.S. Women's National Team play in. And it's not just for 2002, it's for all World Cup competitions and their qualifiers, even the friendlies, of course. Yep. Over here, two DVDs chronicling the 2002 World Cup. Um, first of all, you got the, the Reach Wing DVD version of our matches, of course, so all the way, including the Germany match. Um, hosted by uh, John Champion, of course, one of the great announcers in football, of course. Mainly in the Premier League, but he does a fantastic job. He's one of my favorites, along with Martin Tyler and uh, Peter Droy. Uh, over here, you got the Our Way DVD from U.S. Soccer, of course. This is the official DVD they put out of their run uh, through the 2002 World Cup. And they did a fantastic job at that, representing the red, white, and blue. Hey, we may not be one of the elite giants of Europe or South America, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Believe me, we will be. Also, of course, you know, what's a soccer fan without a scarf, huh? What's a football fan without a scarf, huh? Here's the USA right here, baby. Oh, yeah, red, white, and blue right here. You see the U.S. shields on either side. Of course, it's reversible if you want to wear the dark side as well. Oh, yeah, got to represent the red, white, and blue, the greatest nation on the face of this planet. Also, of course, yes, I do have both jerseys that they wore during that World Cup and during the Entire 2002 uh, preseason and the full season as well. And of course, you got, um, yeah, the home team uh, jersey right here. Of course, you got the Nike swoosh right here. You got the U.S. Men's National Team shield right here. It is a collar, of course, a home collar. No name or number on the back. It is a single layer. It's not well double layer uh, jerseys like they uh, have for the player issues. And yes, I also happen to have, yes, the away jersey as well. Of course, done up in uh, a nice blue with uh, white trim on here, of course. You got your Nike Tech U.S. Men's National Team slogan. No name or number on the back. Also, a single layer. Hey, you're going to represent red, white, and blue. You got to wear nothing but the red, white, and blue, won't you? Also, of course, matching t-shirts to go underneath those as well, of course. You got um, one for the white jersey. And, of course... You've got one for the home jersey as well. Oh yeah, here it is right here. Yep, even though they switched to a new USA shield last year, I still like that old logo better. Of course, I still do. And uh, finally, of course, we got the FIFA World Cup t-shirt here, of course, for uh, the entire tournament and things like that. I mean, yep. Also, home and away, U.S. men's, women's national team caps here. Yep, you, you take your pick right here, of course. And yes, they do say the USA right on the front of them. Once again, representing the greatest nation on the face of the earth, baby. None other. And, of course, since you really can't bring banners into uh, you know, stadiums out these days due to all the heavy security, but you can bring one of these bad boys. They just can't have it on a flagpole, that's all. Oh, yeah, the greatest nation on the face of the earth. I don't care who's running it. It's not the guy running the show that counts. It's the country. All 300 million of us said that, too. And I always wear this for every match on television. Yep, at home. Yep, got the bandana right here. Gotta look hardcore if you're going to be one of the American outlaws on there. And I do look hardcore, don't I? So until next time, I'm Ray Jackson. That's What's in the Closet. Go USA!